Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, which is Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery, and I have a little container of Tricorn Black from Sherwin-Williams, and I'm going to put some Verve Violet in there that I know has a little, it's a little looser than the Tricorn Black, but both of them are looser than the white, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. I just wanted some, a different background that was dark. I don't want to over mix it. I don't think I need to. It's going to be the pillow for the scape I've done earlier. I did a sky and I knew it was going to take me some time. So those are my scoop and drag tools. There's my singular balloon. I have a smaller balloon to do trees if I have time. I'm going to bring over my skyscape, which is going to be my landscape. This is what it looks like. This is where I'm going to put the pillow on the land. So that was just blue until I couldn't see the canvas anymore and some Chantilly lace and a little bit of uh, whatever was pink on the edge of my spatula dabbing until I got something I liked. And it's not complete. This is still wet, but the rest of it is more or less dry. So I'm going to try I'm going to hope that this is okay. I'm also going to indulge myself and use my little acetate tool for a swipe tool. It looks like maybe I have plenty of paint, especially since I'm contemplating tipping this. I don't think it's going to be a spin process. I should have checked my gold was open before I started. There, I got it breathing. I think I could do a lot worse than have gold cells popping up. This is, that is a prism pour. I'm a prime, uh, <laughs> excuse me. That's a prism pour. I'm a color art affiliate. And this is called Black Iris. I don't know what this is going to be like because I've never done exactly this before and I am dripping over the edge which I don't need to do yet. Put my paint stick down where I don't want it. I'm going to use some more Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold from Golden because I'm a big fan and because I know that my little acetate tool will do something that my other palette knives will not do and it will swivel around. I'm not sure how many times I'm going to have to wipe it off. I might as well bring my studio rag in. I'm going to put them, some silver in. If it's open, please be open. They're not very closed when they're closed. So the silver was making some nice cells yesterday, but I'm, I've decided I won't, I'm not going to put it on my swipe color, which is something I've been doing. But I do need, and I'm probably going overboard, some wood. Seriously? <laughs> there it's open. Wintergreen, the, st the um, true silver and the wintergreen are both prism pores. I don't know why, but I'm craving some blue in there. But let's see what happens. I've got some uh, primary elements triple sec. And I'm going to finish off with the Fandango because I think that the last color you put on is probably the one you're going to see the most of. Although I haven't decided about the blue yet. I have got the black. I will tip this so that it... I want some purple or some black. Excuse me. Or some blue. Purple or blue. I think it's going to have to be what I used yesterday. I'll use the, rose, the violet rose again, which is a, prism, a primary element. And a lot of it is not coming out. I'm hoping I'll have enough time. So the blue I used in the sky is right here. It was Chantilly Lace with Prussian Violet. Chantilly Lace is a prism pour of Prussian Violet is a primary element. And uh, it made a nice color. So here's the little tool I'm going to use. I hope. Let's wipe my finger off. And I'm going to use some purple. Dioxazine purple 
an Aussie Flow Troll. I might want to use some white too. I might want to use some gold. <laughs> I might want to use all kinds of stuff. I am going to use some gold. And I'm also going to indulge, the gold is the Mayan gold. I'm going to also indulge in, especially if it's open, the, um, the pearlescent teal that's a boom gel. I opted out of using the uh, Royal Sapphire this time. Now this is what I mean by swiveling around. Not sure how this is going to work. Doesn't seem to be working at all yet. So what I'm going to do is go back in and take that paint off of there. I need a scrape dish. Let's grab a fresh one. This time we'll try something different. We'll try some white. Amsterdam white Aussie flow troll. I am seeing some cells come up. And I'm going to scrape that off again. This time I think I'm just going to use the black and the white. I know the black works, but we got the dark paint background, so it's a little iffy. But it's base it's going to be the top color that's being seen on the, in the swipe configuration. Yes, I dripped. And more boom gel. So the black and the white. It might be pretty no matter what. Looks like I want to lead all that down. Right over the edge. And I'm going to try not to care what it looks like. I can always try and blow into it and break the surface tension. Get some cells. I brought an edge catcher. I do have enough dry painting, I hope, to hold on to. I did put something in my way I don't want in my way. Probably put a whole bunch of things in my way I don't want in my way. So I'm going to I'm going to let that go down first. I'm even going to give it a little bit of a a seal. And then I'm going to push it back up again because I can. see what kind of mountain peaks we get. I never let them go go to peaks so this time I'm going to do that. I want structures and I do see some cells popping out. I'm going to get this edge catcher out of here for right now and then I have to decide if I still want to put some trees in and I could. I'm going to use my straw We got one snow peak. I can't believe I've never done this before. Ha! Huh. Usually I'd like to put something across the bottom and it occurs to me that if I want to take that paint off of that edge catcher, I can do that. So I'm going to do that. Just create some layers. Probably not a lot. And it's pretty muddy, but it's also pretty cool looking. So I'm going to take that paint right now and put it across the bottom because it's missing it in a couple spaces. But otherwise, I'm going to wipe my hands off.
I don't feel like trees are actually warranted yet. I do have some black paint standing by. And I also have a dish standing by. I was going to put my, my tree my tree paint in. Those are going in the bucket. This is getting over the side. I kind of like it just the way it is. <laughs> Except for it's more fun to modify the shapes. Which I think I've secretly always wanted to do. <laughs> At least I got my answer about using dark paint behind. Um, I used white and it and it created the effect of snow-capped mountains, and that was okay. I liked that a lot. That was Pale Moon. I think it was 90, 90 75 if you were looking for that video. So... I don't know what to do now. Oh, but I definitely did something by holding onto my sky that I'm going to have to repair tomorrow. Maybe I'll just blend it in now a little bit. I think I'm going to... Oh, I see that bubble. I think I'm going to let everything go a little bit over sideways. Let's, uh, let's grab that scrape dish. <laughs> Because I like what happens when I tip it sideways. I like the spread of the paint patterns. It just makes it more interesting. I still want to put trees in, but I just I don't think it's appropriate right now. So a quick landscape decision if I want to put a tree, uh, excuse me, a sun in there. And I don't think I'm going to do that either right now. But um, I didn't get a ton of cells. Let's see what happens when we torch real quick. You're not supposed to torch when you're using house paint. I have been recently. And I really could swipe again, but I like what I have, so I'm going to leave it. So this was just a really short video. And uh, I have to decide right now if I'm going to do anything with the sun. And I don't want to do it. Okay, well, there might be a part two at some point in time where I put trees in. Do I want to look at this one more time and find out if I really don't want to put trees in? Maybe big trees? I could even pick up the colors that are there. I've got some colors in my dish. Sorry to be so indecisive. Let's put some colors in my dish and, and give at least one tree a go. I'm going to start with some of the triple sec. Put some of the winter green in. I'm going to add a little bit of mystique. If I can get some to come out. Yes, I can. A little bit of sea monster. I'll, I'll make sure to let you know if there are prism pores or primary elements in the description. And I want my Fandango. Now, I could ruin this. <laughs> I wish I hope I don't. I'm going to grab some of the I don't think I can go in on top of the paint that's there, but I'd love to. No, that's not going to work. I guess I can poke, make them look like they go behind the hills. So I've got a few trees. I might as well put a couple more on the other side.
And then my original plan was to use a tongue depressor, but I think instead of that, I want something else. Maybe just, I've got three minutes left. I do always use up my time. I'm just going to use a skewer. Just a dab of black paint. They're pretty much Dr. Seuss trees anyway. And lead a trunk down into the painting and a couple of branches up into the trees. That kind of makes me want to put my sun in the sky because I've just sort of made the whole thing into a cartoon. So we've got some trees and they're looking kind of cool. I'm sorry it took me so long to figure it out. I'm going to put another tree in. I hope it doesn't suck. Put another bunch of trees in. Let's just keep treeing it. Let's tree right out. Just a little dab will do you too. Well, I went ahead and did it. <laughs> so I'm going to just keep right on. And then when that timer goes off, I won't have much time left to tell you things like I do some my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. I try and put a little Y at the top. That one's hidden behind the tree. I'm not going to worry about that one. And I could, you could modify, you know, the branches in your in your foliage tomorrow after they dry. They don't have to be complicated, that is for certain. And so far so good. Well that's kind of cute. I, I so want to put a sun in. So I have some Indian spice, but it's not open. So let's grab, I know, I'm going to use, oh boy, that's risky, the Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. Where though? Because I really like that color. And I've got one minute left to tell you guys I love you guys and you inspire the heck out of me. And I got my timer to go off and I will try and um, I will try and shimmer this at you. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been so indecisive before. There will be, oh, there's some beautiful sparkle in the bottom. I wanted to have darker, more subtle colors and that's what I got and I needed to do the experiment to find out if that's what I really wanted. I do like the, the uh, Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold Sun. It's kind of subtle, but it's also pretty cute. I might, uh, I might blow on it a little bit more. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. If you watch my videos longer, you help me out. When you leave me a comment, you help me out. If my paint pouring recipes are below, show more. Happy New Year in 2023. We just got here. I hope it's a better one than last year. My Amazon link is on my link tree. There is at least a 20% off coupon code for Color Art products on my, uh, near my show more under the video. And uh, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for donating through PayPal. And uh, thank you for the memberships. You helped me buy art supplies. I really appreciate that. I love this. I love a lot of this stuff. It didn't have tremendous cells, but it's cool. Just the same. So I wish you luck and, and have a good time. My